Okay, I'm at the weir at the end of Pepper Creek where the overflow is controlled. And as you can see, it's pretty damn high. Uh, in fact, earlier they couldn't open the weir because the Homosassa River was flowing back into Pepper Creek. It was so high. And on the other side of the road, we see that it's actually up above the outflow points. You saw this before in an earlier video when it was very high, but this is even more so. Oh yeah, you can't even see the tunnel where it comes out. It's up over that. And you can see the tree is way up there. Water is way up there. So this is before the storm has hit. This is just today's rain. And tomorrow at 8 p.m. is landfall for the tropical storm, now Hurricane Hermine. And uh, this is going to be very interesting to see what this looks like tomorrow. But there you go, that's where, where we're at at the moment. This is 8 p.m. on uh, Wednesday. Good morning, back here at the Weir at the Homosassa Springs Wildlife State Park in Homosassa, Florida. As you can see, the water level has gone down quite a bit. Compared to what we were seeing here yesterday, there was no waterfall, it was just flowing. Maybe later today when it rains some more we'll get something here, but right now uh, at uh, about 11 a.m. Looking pretty good here. Over here on the other side, a lot more of the tree is exposed now. So there we go. Well, it's a couple hours before sunset and it's already pretty darn dark. So I don't even know if this is showing up. But we're over here at the Ellie Schiller Homosassa Springs Wildlife State Park at the Western Dock. And uh, we've come over to see what's happening with the weir and the water levels in the creek versus the Homosassa River. Now, before I go out in there, I'm going to get a look at it from here. You can see that water level is pretty high. We're on the most extreme edges of the hurricane here in Homosassa, but the southeast side of the hurricane is always the worst, and that's what we're getting. It's running right up the Gulf Coast from Tampa all the way up to Big Bend. Now, high tide isn't for another hour yet, but I'm going to go out here now because I think in another hour it's going to be too dark to get anything on camera here. Okay, and we still, we see the creek is still flowing out, but it is very, very high. It's almost level. Look at this, that's tremendous. And the Homosassa River is going to be getting the tide flow coming in, along with the storm surge, which is basically the wind pushing the water across the gulf up the river. And here you can see over here again that the tunnels are completely submerged. And once again, our tree is a little bit deeper into the creek. Coming to you from the middle of the storm here in Homosassa, this is Judd. Have a good day. Well, good morning and Judd coming here the morning after. The uh, hurricane hit us overnight. There we go, look at that baby. 
And as you can see, we got some high water here at the park. We're up past the fence onto the road, and you can see the boats are very high. Oh my gosh, the roofs of the boat are almost hitting the fire or the steel balconies above them. That's pretty darn high. The roads to the other side of the park are flooded, can't get through. So I'm going to walk down Pepper Creek Trail and see what I can do. Take a look at Pepper Creek at the other end. And uh, Pepper Creek Trail, as you can see, it's got a little flooding itself. Now this is actually the creek, believe it or not, but technically this is creek water that's just gotten so deep it's up here on the Pepper Creek Trail. So I'm wading through this, it's very clear and it's still 72 degrees. <laughs> getting pretty darn deep now. I got a good foot of water here. Okay, this is what I came to see. We're coming up on the weir. And uh, looks like the weir is just sort of some underwater barrier between the creek and the river at the moment. Over the last couple of days, you've seen a lot of video here. And here is the weir. That's it. This is where I keep talking about the tunnels. And <laughs> I'm seeing a fish swimming around there above the tunnel. And you can see our tree down there is a little bit covered with water and way 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 down there the far end that's out the Homosassa River out there another uh, couple hundred yards highest I've ever seen Pepper Creek Pepper Creek Trail now interesting you can see it is still flowing out filmed from yesterday you can see the pier is totally gone the weir is totally underwater and I am up to my knees okay I was standing on elevated ground here yesterday I'm on my knees now so got a lot of water you can see there's still a lot of flow it's flowing down got a little bit of sunshine poking through <laughs> give us one hope this is gonna be a morning after uh, actually what there's going to be is more rain, some heavy rain all afternoon, so this is going to get even higher. Plus we've still got all the wash up from, uh, wash down from the northern areas into this. This is the watershed. This is where it's coming, so this will actually be getting higher. And, uh, oh look at that. Let's see some sunshine while we got it. Look at that. It's still beautiful in Florida.